is going to be a three-part series diving into Ooh. Joker's mysterious past. <laughs> this here, I'm very excited for. I, I, I'm a little, little. The Red Hood. Trepidatious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I'm eager to see where it goes. So you're probably wondering what the heck this is. So DC's planning to publish Joker Year One is going to be a three-part series diving into Ooh. Joker's mysterious past. Uh, it's similar to Batman's Year One. It's going to be written by Chip Zdarsky, and the artist is going to be Giuseppe Camicoli and Dave. Giuseppe Camicoli, yeah. Giuseppe Camicoli and mm -hmm. Dave Stewart. Yep. Uh, so this is uh, going to be actually taking place after uh, Killing Joke. Yeah, so, uh, Alan Moore and Brian Bolland's uh, graphic novel. So Joker Year One starts right after G Joker's leap into villainy from ba uh, Batman's Killing Joke. It follows his first year as a criminal in Gotham and mm -hmm. show how he became the infamous Joker. Alongside this, there will be a modern day story in Batman world that connects with these new insights into Joker's beginnings. So this is actually going to take place during uh, Batman 142 and 144 cool. coming out in February of 2024. Mm -hmm. These wow. are going to be key issues, people, if this takes. Hell yeah. I mean, Joker is in, in uh, 138 right now. Yeah. And um, right. yeah, so, so I think this is crazy where they're taking these graphic novels and turning them into canon, you know, like killing joke. We were never too sure if it was canon or not. And then DC started releasing, you know, um, one bad day storylines. Um, and then th three jokers was its own thing. And then all of a sudden they bring three jokers into the main canon storyline. So, well, well, I mean, Leo, it was never supposed to be canon. That's what people always forget. It was never supposed to be canon, but it was so popular that DC essentially made it canon by doing things like referencing it or making um, Barbara Gordon into Oracle. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. And then uh, they released the One Bad Day uh, storylines, which right. I have to say I've read all of them except for two right now. And uh, the first one has been the best one so far. Riddler is friggin' phenomenal. Everybody. Oh, yeah, we, we covered that. And Carrie... Carrie probably would high. back you up on that. She she read all of them as well, and she said that she felt there were a lot of them were fine, but varying degree of fine to good. Yeah, right, Carrie. Yeah, but Riddler, it, it was it set the bar so high. I was expecting a whole lot from this series, and it was just like, oh, okay. So we have comics with one. Whoa. And that seems to be the way of comics. So you'll get that really, really good story, and but it's, always want to revisit it, and never do they ever yeah hit the same way. Yeah, Carrie, it's kind of like when you buy a a mystery bag; they have like one pivotal great issue, and then a bunch of meh. Yeah. Unless you get them from John, then you get a bunch of great shit. It's true. But, it is true. Yeah. But uh yes, yeah, so and what's really nice is I I'm as someone who's kind of has been been assembling the, the news, I'm getting a really good knowledge of which story would go for whom. And the second I saw this, I was like, Leo raves about Z Zadarsky's run. He's gonna love this. So hell yeah. You know, so definitely it's pretty pretty interesting. Um yeah, should be fun. Yeah, no pun intended. Hey, so Yeah.